Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I want to go through my ice fishing gear today. Yeah, I figured we could go through it together. I have to unbox all of it because it's been packed away since last... I don't remember, I have to go back and look. However, you can go back and look and check out my other ice fishing videos. But anyways, we're gonna go through my ice fishing stuff today. Right, Looney? We're gonna take a trip down to Ben's Bait and Tackle to get the rest of my things, because I have so many things I need. Ice is starting, starting, starting to freeze more northern New Hampshire and stuff, so I may go chasing that next week. I don't know, it depends on if I get an auger for Christmas, but yeah, ready, Loon? Let's go, uh, let's unpack some stuff. Also, excuse my voice, I am sick again this Christmas. Last year, I had COVID. This year, I just have a cold, and I had COVID back in October after my sister's wedding. I've had COVID like three times. It's ridiculous. It's literally ridiculous. COVID needs to go. And flu season needs to freaking go now, immediately. So this is where I keep my ice fishing gear and a lot of my fishing gear. As you can see, I've got all my rods stowed away, sadly. But my grandfather, way back in the day when I was like, not even a thought, put this pegboard up. So I am actually going to utilize that. So I still have so much monster bass stuff, like literally boxes of it that I still haven't even touched from when I worked with them. Um, but yeah, we, uh, all kinds of things. One day when Loon gets big enough, he will be in a life jacket. It might be a little big, but I don't know. He'll be 50 pounds, so we'll see. But I'm going to turn my grandfather's old shop into a fishing storage place, hopefully. It's going to take some time. We'll see. All right, I figured I would show you guys the new things I got at Bass Pro the other day. Okay, I got this Deluxe 8 Rod Bass Pro XPS Rod Bag for my ice fishing rods. It has all kinds of little storagey, compartmenty, situation-y things, which I'm stoked about because who can't use more storage? Compartment here. Another one on this side. Yay! I have a, it's like a little tripod-y seat that I got at L.L. Bean that I love. And I use it for hunting, ice fishing, camping. God knows where it is. But in the meantime, I got a bucket. This is a clam bucket. It has this little like cushion foam on the top, but I didn't realize what was in it when I bought it. There's actually styrofoam, a little styrofoam bucket so I can put my shiners and minnows and all that jazz in there. That's super exciting to me because I also don't know where my bucket is either. Picked up a couple of these bad Larrys um, also there because I need to retie and reline all of my uh, tip-ups and ice fishing rods this year. I haven't done it in probably three years. You can roast me in the comments below, but I'm cheap and they work. Have I lost fish? Yes. Have I learned my lesson? No. <laughs> but this year, this year, this, yeah. This is the year. This is the year. Now for the big bucket. This has so much in here. I have Bruins, my other dog Bruin, as you guys have seen online, my English setter who's 13. Um, this is his winter jacket, my old school ski jacket. FXR jacket. This is like my fancy one. Um, I've got my excursion ice bibs. You guys have seen this on the channel. These smell like fish from last year. <laughs> Love that. Um, this is my snowmobiling jacket, FXR also. 
Love this jacket. I have had this jacket for years. I love this jacket. It is so warm. And I don't like pink. So I don't wear pink and ever. But I wear teal because blue and teal, they're like any shade of blue really except for baby blue. Favorite color if you just wanted to know. I have another pair of ice um pants these are just like um i can link this down below i actually don't remember what these ones are called the thing is it's not quite a bib they're pants with suspenders and they're like definitely not as warm as my excursion ice bibs but these are great on like those kind of like warmer sunnier days like i can just like wear all black in a sweatshirt and they're great and when i don't feel like having like the full all the way up you know, on my chest, I have like a little bit more like freedom. Uh, I wear these, but they are waterproof. I love them. They're just really comfy. It doesn't feel like you're wearing snow gear when you wear these, but they're warm. They're really warm. So this has flotation assist safety technology. I didn't even know that. Oh, well, that's neat. This is the uh, picture jacket. It's actually my ski, ski jacket. These are the knee pads that were in, I think, my excursion snow pants. I cannot stand these, so I take them out. I don't, I don't care for extra padding. I wear like 19 layers of pants anyways when I go out because I have Raynaud's disease and I'm friggin' freezing. I have enough cushion, I don't use these. A lot of people swear by them. I just think they add so much extra bulk and I already have a hard time running around and moving in snow pants and gear. So why add more discomfort? So I take these out. So I have my snowshoes in here. But you know what I just realized? I don't even have any of my uh, tip ups in this box. I kind of rearranged all my boxes. So let me go, uh, let me go find the other box. One second, oh my God. some hats, 10 trillion wool socks, found my ice bucket, so now I have two. I've got my little on the go, my hooks go in there, fuzzy FXR, neck gaiter, got for Christmas last year, are these electric hand warmers. Do they work that good? Nope. They don't last long. So I also every year buy like a giant thing of hand warmers. Fancy dancy little minnow net, fillet knife. Love this knife. Then my buddy, Nick, who's a rock star, was so kind to give me one of his Vexlars with the battery, the whole thing. So this is my old school, how I track fish in depth and all that my fish finder in the winter i don't ever want to get rid of her i really like her i really really like her micro spikes um i do have real spikes too for when it gets real bad um do have the snowshoes too but these little micro spikes do the trick all right this this is the rod that i love I love, love, love this rod. This is my Chippewa River custom rod. I have caught many, many fish on it. I love it. Becca broke it last year. She broke the tip right off of it. And uh, yeah, it looks like it broke again a little bit more, a little more fracturing. I'm really sad. So um, I'm on the hunt for a new rod, a new ice rod. Um, I loved this rod. Um, this is my cheap rod, my little Berkley. Lots of action. If I bring people with me, like my cousin or like friends, like this is my go-to rod. As you can see, it's all mangled, but that's <laughs> because I store nothing properly. And not anymore. I got a bag. 
So I've got these uh, Fray Bill, Fra Bill, Fray Bill. These are my like tip ups that I got last year. Thoroughly like them. Um, I didn't spool them great. Um, I have, I bought two of these. Um, I honestly hate them. I hate those tip ups because it has this little like O-ring and when I like put it on the thing, wherever it is down here, oh, over here, it never stays. Like it doesn't like, it's so touchy and I don't have time for that. I'm either gonna re-spool one of these maybe, probably not. Just put them to the side. I do have these other cheapiolas like these a lot. These ones I've been using for the last three years. They actually clip very nicely and they were only like 18 bucks a piece at one of my local uh, shops when I was living up in a uh, Newburyport area. They have this thicker, this thicker line that I really like. And the, like this is purple, most of them are purple, but I think one might be like blue, like a light blue. And then I just added some leader to it and they've been awesome. Definitely, I would super appreciate this. Comment below how you like to add weight to these because I've been just using the little like clamp claw weights and that way I can just like put them on, take them off as I need because I, again, am like a really lazy fisherwoman and I don't like to do more work than I have to. So I just like clip these on and that way if I like lose the line or something snaps or whatever, they're like, what, $2 for a pack of like 10, maybe between two and $5. Like it's not expensive and I can add more weight if I need, if I'm like fishing in deeper water, but if I'm shallow and I can just like take one or two off, I could leave it bare and just have like the minnow or shiner swim around. Like that's personally how I do it. I like to update my gear. I'm gonna keep using these so that when I take my friends out and stuff, I have them. But what I wanna do is update all this stuff. So let's go down to Ben's Bait and Tackle and you know, see what they got, get some new gear, maybe get some new line. Um, you know, see what they have because I'm curious, but I'm not gonna buy an auger today because I really asked for an auger for Christmas and I hope, I hope I get it. 24 volt, eight inch, Strike Master lithium battery auger. Oh. oh, and I meant to tell you, I have a little sled and a little shovel that I use for when I need to, you know, dig out some snow and, you know, to be able to drill some holes in, you know, cart all of my belongings around with me. But yeah, let's go take a little trip ski over there and maybe even buy a new rod. All right, something that I uh, didn't mention earlier is that I really would like to invest in some kind of ice shack, tent, whatever. What I'd like is something that is easy to move with so that way when Luna and I get too cold, we can go inside. Um, I'm gonna get some kind of Mr. Buddy heater, whatever, as well. This year I really just, I really wanna be warm and I wanna go ice fishing by myself. Um, in the past, I have not been able to because my Raynaud's disease is so bad that I have to ask my friends to help me put my belongings away because I physically cannot pick them up. Like many times I've had to ask Becca to literally close up my traps for me um, and just throw them in the sled because I can't, I just like physically can't move my hands. If I have some kind of nice warm shack I can go into, um, that gives me enough time to thaw out in between traps and things like that. Maybe Ben's will have some, if not, uh, maybe I'll order something online, hit up Bass Pro or Cabela's or, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. So after um, quite a bit of driving around, my GPS said it was on the right side of the road and of course I didn't look on the left and I found it, <laughs> so we're here. Right, Loon? Here he is in all his glory. What do you think? Yeah, I know, buddy. Do you like Dan? Yeah. He's oh, like, I love Dan. 
Oh. Who doesn't like the rub down, huh? He is 16 weeks today. Oh, yeah, so he's doing good. Oh. We took out the, um, I had the same thing with on that wall. Mm -hmm. That was all like um, all kinds of tackle. And then now we just had to make it all like ice fishing. I'm so. stoked because I need all new stuff. We are definitely going to be restocking. So the things I need is I have tip-ups. They're really small. So if I could get some bigger ones, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, I like new line for that because I think I saw you guys. Oh, yeah, right there. Too, yeah. Which is perfect because I need that. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at an ice shack. The shelters, we just got these in that that insulated one is a three person. That's really popular. We, we sold already a few of those. Oh, oh my so, gosh, what are you doing? I was just. Hey, lady. <laughs> Oh, look at his tail. Why is he so good? He's so excited to see you. I know, that's a big pile, right? Yeah. And guys, I ended up going with the Eagle Claw Chappelle. Nice little ice hut. I am actually super excited about this. This has been stellar. I have gotten so much cool stuff, which I'll show you guys when I get home. Yep. But yeah, all your fishing needs. Ben's Tackle Shack, right, Ben? Right. <laughs> yeah. Ben's Tackle Shack. I'm Ben. My dad is also a coder behind the uh, camera, Dan, and we're here in Lester, Mass, and we just love the crowd, the community, and supporting Noelle. She's been awesome, tagging us, posting us. We, we we really appreciate her doing the things she does for the fishing community. So especially like these vlogs, getting her name out there. So make sure you like and subscribe for Noelle. Yes, that's <laughs> most important. Don't forget to hit the bell too. So never miss a mini video again. Yes. Right, Loon? <laughs> right. It's a loon. I might have yeah, to get this. Let's go, Loon. Let's go for the ride. Let's go for the ride. <laughs> Well, that was like insanely successful. Knew I was gonna come down here for a few things, but I didn't expect to get as much as I did for the deal I got. I mean, Ben's is awesome, guys. Like you, if you haven't been, please go. The guys are so nice. They're so thoughtful and they, they helped me with everything that I needed. And it's like, no joke, it was such a great experience. I got like every single thing I needed. <laughs> and hopefully I get an auger for Christmas. Hopefully I get an auger for Christmas, I hope. Dan actually puts together the expos um, in Boxborough, Mass, the New England Expo. Last year I worked at the Milford, the New Hampshire Expo, and that was sick. Uh, I went to the New England Expo, but this year I should be working at both of them. So if you happen to be going to those, just uh, shoot me a message on Instagram. Let me know you're going to be there and I'll make sure to say hi. Yeah, great experience overall. So happy. So happy. This is like a Christmas miracle. So it is the next day, Christmas Eve. Basically what happened within the last 24 hours is I went home and took a nap. I was really excited to show you guys all this stuff yesterday, but I had like the worst headache. So I just needed to take a nap and chill. But this morning, got up, got breakfast with my grandma, and I went over and visited my friend David Perry, who is one of the managers of uh, Cabela's in uh, Hudson or Berlin, Massachusetts. And I got a couple more things. So I want to show you what I got from Ben's uh, Tackle Shack and Cabela's within the last 24 hours. The first thing I got hooked up with is, is this amazing Cabela's bag. My information about the card. This uh, chocolate caramel cheesecake fudge. This matching Cabela's hat. I love it. From Ben's, I got four tip-ups. I got two, which are the Heritage. Um, these are the Heritage Tackle and Gear, which are located up in Eddington, Maine. So Ben's has been getting these. These are handmade up there. They're so nice. So nice. These are kind of like the Mercedes of tip-ups. These are the nicest tip-ups I have ever bought. And I got two of them. They were a little bit pricey, but I don't mind spending money on good gear from a great company. I also got the Polar tip-ups. These more plastic tip-ups. Um, I've had so many friends and buddies that use these and 
Honestly, I just really wanted to get some for myself, so I got two in blue. I also got some ice line for those as well. This is 150 yards of 36 pound test braid. These are really nice. I got those for all the tip ups. Eight pound uh, fluorocarbon cigar um, for the uh, for the um, leader, the leader line. The jig box. I got a bubbler for my uh, for my little uh, minnow buckets. While I was there, I picked up a new uh, Alpha. This is the Alpha 29 inch ice fishing stick. This is what broke off of my other rod, my Chippewa rod. But this was a great deal. It was like 30 bucks, $39 or something like that. And I also, I kind of been doing research on this. I've been thinking about it. And Cabela's ended up carrying these. This is the 13 Tickle Stick. This is a medium 28 inch jigging rod. I am extremely excited about this because something I'd like to do is go for a Lakers. So you can either do like a medium, medium heavy, heavy rod. Um, they didn't have anything heavier than a medium. So this kind of will be able to float between Lakers and like my normal ice fishing stuff where the other rod's definitely a lot lighter. Um, this will be just a little bit firmer for those heavier bass, um, lake trout, uh, pickerel, you know, things like that. And what I got with this, I purchased the uh, 13 Ghost Reel. This was actually more expensive than the rod, but I haven't had like a real like ice fishing reel. Like this has got, you can set the drag really nice. All that's not like quite similar to your spinning reel. It's just more ice fishing geared. All right, so the other stuff that I got at Cabela's is something that I mentioned yesterday. I like to use those little, little weights. They're tin removable split shot weights. A nice count of these, where there's 120 of these in here at size seven. I really like these because I said yesterday I can remove them easily. Um, they cost practically nothing. Do they make me look super professional on the ice? Uh, no, but as long as I'm catching fish, I don't really care. I grabbed a couple little plastics to go on my new jigs. I Jamai, the Mingyo, or the Maki. All oh, these are all a uh, clam company. They're just little, little soft plastics. Just kind of more neutral colors. I have a lot of like the fluorescent pink and green and yellow and everything from last year, which work perfectly. I just wanted to get more natural colors just to kind of see how they work. I got the Glow Tungsten. This is a pink and white, kind of fun little guy. Um, this is from Custom Jigs and Spins, Inc. This is called the Jage, Jage, J-A-J-E. And I got the Glasba. This is like a blue and white. Also kind of see how these work. It'd be nice if it said what the actual size of these are. I don't know. <clears throat> Actually, super funny story. Years ago, when I first started ice fishing, one of my buddies is like, oh, have you ever fished with like the Swedish nipple? And I was like, what is a Swedish nipple? And he goes, these are Swedish nipples. These little like jigs for like literally two years. I was like, yeah, they're called Swedish nipples. Or maybe they're just called Swedish dimples is what I think he ended up saying. No, they're Swedish dimples. Either way, I don't know. <laughs> But I went around looking like an idiot, being like, Swedish nipples! I'm gonna put a Swedish nipple on my line. <laughs> so stupid. I also got the uh, Berkeley Fireline Thermal, Thermally Fused Tough Ice, 50 yards of eight pound test. This I'm gonna put on the uh, 13 rod. I grabbed some Polar Picks just in case. Because Beck and I uh, kind of did fall in last year. And it could have been a lot worse. I mean, we fell in up to our knees, but it really could have been a lot worse. So for those in case, oh shoot moments, I got these just to be safe. Got some new pliers. These are eight inch pliers. I got the Eagle Claw Chappelle. Um, this is a three person insulated 
ice tent. I did it. It was a little pricey, but I did it. And I'm very excited about it. I honestly am going to set it up right now <laughs> and show you guys. What I'm also really happy about is that this is gonna fit in that sled. Well, it's just a little bit bigger than the sled, but honestly, not by much. So I don't need to get a bigger sled. Yay, I need to save money so bad. Well, this was Loon and I's very first Christmas together and he got so many gifts. As you can see here, he got a camo bass for Christmas. He loved it. We were able to fit in tons of snuggles that morning. He just had the most fun that morning. But for me, I got my 24 volt lithium battery 10 inch auger, which is more than I'll ever need, but hey, woohoo. And I went to Dick's Sporting Goods and picked up a portable buddy, Mr. Heater. So. I had a great Christmas, but I wish you guys happy holidays and a happy new year and enjoy time with your friends and family. I'll see you in the next video.